Hello YouTube world, what is going on? This is not our usual vlog because we are in the middle of a pandemic. What's up, everybody? We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y, and we are, you know, doing our somewhat daily vlogs of our experiences with the COVID-19 virus and mm -hmm. how it is making such a massive effect on our lives and the way that everything that we do is being drastically affected. So we have notes because we wanted to not just randomly spurt out stuff, but tell y'all some of the things that we've been thinking about as we've been experiencing this real time. So, uh... Where do you want to start? So today is March 18th. It's Wednesday. And my notes from yesterday and I guess today, we're going to just combine two days together. So, so far, if you guys watch our previous vlog, you already seen what we've said before about, you know, traffic and restaurants and stuff like this. The news announced that Amazon suspended deliveries of everything only by like essential items, right? So I think what it is, is they're prioritizing essential items and the other things that you want, you won't be able to get it like next day like we typically do. Mm -hmm. You'll get it, back. but it'll just won't be as fast as things that are like, you know, emergency items, household goods that people need and order through Amazon will have a higher priority than just me ordering a pair of jeans. Yeah. All right. What's next one, Sonia? More restaurants are closing. Yeah, so even more restaurants are closing down or doing only like carry out or delivery service. Mm -hmm. But we actually did have dinner tonight at a really nice uh, Korean barbecue Probably. place in Midtown that was open. We were one of the only people in there, our families in there rather. Um, looked super weird. Looked like we had a private dinner, <laughs> like yeah. literally private dinner. What? Um, it was my grandma's birthday yesterday. Yep, so it was grandma's birthday, and that's why we had a little family dinner, dinner outing. and broke the, uh, what do they call that thing, the self-quarantining rule. <laughs> but I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to do that, because they're going to probably have curfews coming up here. So. Yeah, so that was the next thing on the list. So, so far, there is no curfew for our county. Yes. But South Fulton announced that they do in 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. curfew. Yeah. So no hanging out at um, nighttime. <laughs> yeah, unless you're going to work or from work, emergencies. There's there was one more item on there. Mm -hmm. So, all right, what's next, Sonia? Traffic almost completely gone. There's barely any cars on the road. Yeah, like today, I feel like even less traffic than it was than yesterday. Yeah, so down, especially like by my office, I took some video that I'm probably gonna overlay right here of like just looking outside of our conference room window. And I mean, there's a road that goes by my office that is the main road to go to the sports arenas in Atlanta. And there literally was not a single car on that road today. And it was just like, you know, so like surreal to see that. And then I went to the other side of our building and I shot a video of the actual Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And uh, yeah, there was like one car on the road, like wow. literally like you see this whole skyline and only one car is moving, which is like, you know, kind of yeah. like, you know, with The Walking Dead or something crazy like this that. This is crazy. All right. What's next, Sonia? Possible connections to blood type A was... So I read this article S where Chinese supposedly did some research on, you know, all of their cases and they established connection to... Uh, Type A, the blood type A people, and supposedly they have uh, higher chances of getting sick. And if they are sick, they have a more severe um, course of the the way that it affects their immune yeah, system. like so, like if the way it affects the immune system. But let's say if I'm type O, I'm not gonna be even if I would be infected and you know going through mm. it. I wouldn't be having as harsh of a um, course of the illness as mm. I don't know how true it is and how accurate their numbers, but this is something that I have recently seen. I've seen the news saying the hospital suggests in self quarantining unless you're at higher risk because they are turning people away because there's not enough room and a lot of people are not getting tested or they suggest in. Just, you know, not get tested unless you really have to. Oh, let's see. 
I have seen, I'm sure other people have seen this on the news. Chinese did that when they were like singing to, I guess, keep the spirits up. Mm. I've seen Italians doing it. And then I've seen people DJing right out of their window. <laughs> Literally Might for everybody. That. Yeah. And uh, somebody to did that kind of workers. today because somebody were blasting music today in the afternoon. And then if you open the windows, you can hear it. And then I also seen them having a, a workout coach doing like a workout session. So he would be on the rooftop and all the buildings around it, like the high rises would open the windows and watch him and work out as well. Mm. So let's see. Um, schools is still closed. What were you going to say? I was going to say something. Okay, so schools is still closed, but also they provide um breakfast and lunch for kids that out of school for families that in need so they just do like the bus route where the bus goes on certain routes and they drop off the food hmm. at certain bus stops or you can go to certain schools they, they put the list on the news and you can go and receive you know like the free lunch and dinner free lunch and breakfast for for children that are out of school because some parents just you know, like people out of work, they can't afford some of these groceries and these children stuck mm. at home. <sighs> do you guys want to read any of these or do you want me to just keep going? Um, I mean, I don't know anything about the Ukrainian news in detail. Oh, I was just going to give like, you know, I'm originally from Ukraine. So I've read some of the Ukrainian news and uh, I know they self-quarantining. They don't really have exact numbers as far as like the sickness people and stuff like that i know they testing but um so far i've heard that also a lot of malls closed like some of the stores closing some of the businesses closing schools are closed schools and colleges closed for three weeks officially and um they only planning to keep open i believe grocery stores gas stations and pharmacies hmm. good Toilet paper issues. Some people buy a lot of toilet paper. We live in. <laughs> this guy don't brought his toilet paper to work. Are you scared somebody's gonna steal it? <laughs> yeah, I don't really understand this whole toilet paper thing. I mean, we use like a Lota bidet type thing, you know what I mean? So, I mean, toilet paper is basically just used for drying yourself off in this household. So I don't really understand this whole toilet paper thing and why more people don't use bidets. But that's yeah, I've read the articles because I'm like, I, I'm in the same boat. I don't understand it. But people are saying it's just kind of like neurotic thing. One person did it and another person kind of followed the lead even they don't understand why. But everybody's panicking. So typically in the you know panic situations, people do crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, some things that I've personally seen that, um, I guess, have changed my day-to-day -day work life. When I get up and go to work, first of all, there's, like, literally no cars on the road. It's just, like, pretty much a straight shot. I'm, like, one of maybe two cars that I'll see in the morning. And then when I get to my office, we have to sign in and sign out. And I, they said that it's because they want to know who's been in contact with who at what time to make sure that, if anyone does get infected, we know who else potentially might be infected, which, I mean, it's kind of really crazy because I have one of those jobs that, um, um, what do they call it? It's called an essential pos position or something like that. I forget. Mm -hmm. They were they were doing an article on an NPR that I was listening to. Uh, essential staff is oh, basically okay. what they call it. Staff. So I basically still have to show up to work every day, even though literally 98% of my office is empty. Like, you know, like engineers and certain people in certain departments still have to come to the actual office to make sure that, you know, the logistics of the workflow still work. Yeah. And unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know at this point, I'm one of those people that still has to go to work. So I kind of feel like, I mean, well, what happens if I get sick? You know what I'm saying? I thought like, about it actually last night because I was like, OK, well, you do have to go to office all the time. But what happens if you are get sick? Yeah. And I'm exposed to all these people that are still exposed to their families when they get back who are exposed to other people. So it's almost impossible for me to self-quarantine by virtue of my job. Now, also, another thing that my job gave me to make sure that I still am able to go to work is uh, it is a, a CDC. Or no, it's, a, it's from the it's like this, it's a statement from the president that says that because I work for a media company, 
stop me. Um, the National Guard or police cannot stop me from going to work. Mm. Um, and then we have something from one of our corporate lawyers that pretty much reiterates the same thing, saying that if you're a police officer or if you are, you know, whatever military personnel, you cannot stop me from going to work and doing the uh, so position. So that's in I case the do. actual curfew is going to be enforced. Yeah. So, yeah, I have that thing. And I, so, yeah, that talks about the sign-in, silent media pass, National Guard deployment. So, National Guard deployment. So, people were saying that in the state of Georgia, the National Guard was going to be deployed. I happen to have been, still technically am in the National Guard, um, even mm -hmm. though I don't, I'm not active. I'm on what they call inactive reserve. So, I still have a year of that. And um, no one that I know has actually been deployed yet. And I know quite a few people. I don't, I don't know everybody, obviously, in the Georgia National Guard. But no one that I personally know has been deployed. So, I don't really know about that. But I did hear that that was a thing. Malls in Atlanta are closed as of today. It's today at 7. So we already said that on Sunday we've seen the store closing earlier. Mm -hmm. Now today they're officially announced. Finito. Yeah, as of 7 p.m. I don't think it's all because like I haven't seen Cumberland and stuff on the news. But oh, well, the biggest ones. But uh, yeah, Phillips the biggest Plaza ones. and Lenox Mall and uh, a bunch of other like just stores that are t normally open have all pretty much closed their doors. And a lot of them have closed their doors and still give their employees uh, full pay. Yes, which is really good. I mean, if the company can afford it, that's mm -hmm. great because people got stuck and they have no jobs. So Yeah, so right. this is really a really serious, scary right. thing. And the last, um, the last thing that we're going to talk about... Three confirmed... Deaths? Deaths in GA so far. In Georgia. So, so far, I think we have 197 cases yeah. as of today, which is March 18th, and then three deaths so far. Yeah. They haven't really talked about details. Haven't they? And I don't personally know anyone who's uh, tested positive for coronavirus yet, but one of my friends actually on the group chat while we were at the restaurant did actually say that his sister-in-law um, tested positive for coronavirus. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, I finally know somebody who knows somebody who uh, actually has caught the um, coronavirus and uh, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it at this point. And uh, yeah, it's like, it's, a, it's very strange, man. It's like today I was like at work just kind of like walking around doing stuff and literally nobody was there but maybe like five people. Nobody's outside. Like you don't see anywhere near as many humans as you technically as you are used to seeing, especially being city people. Yes. And it's it's almost surreal what's going on here and what's going on in this country and just seeing the whole world come to a screeching halt like this. And um like I was saying in the last vlog, you know, a lot of my friends and a lot of people that I know make their living you know what i'm saying all based off of events and performances yes, and like you know crowd gatherings yeah crowd gatherings that's basically how mm -hmm. i earn an income is when the crowd shows up to see something and um the fact that you know for who knows how long like you know we won't be able to do that it's a really scary thing to think about because you know if you're you know djs club owners blah 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 mm -hmm. artists and all this kind of stuff like your livelihood is you know a crowd oh so another thing i've heard some of the colleges said there's no more in-person classes for the remainder of the year or graduation or graduations um one of my co-workers mentions today that i can't remember which state but they said no more school for kids for regular like you know not even colleges just elementary middle and high school to the end of the year in person either we haven't heard anything in georgia yet but i am pretty sure this is going to get to the same kind of point probably yeah maybe i don't know but that's pretty much where we are now as of wednesday i mean you are at home working now so i guess you don't really experience as much as i do going it is, out yes but it's very strange because we used to have this beautiful view and i used to see the traffic and stuff so i don't see none of it anymore so for me, like, I feel like I'm in the bubble mm. and there haven't been a day that we haven't left the house yet, mm. even though people say self quarantine, but I mean, we kind of self quarantine ourselves in the car if we're going somewhere. But today we went to this dinner and I was pulling out on the, on the road and we live on the pretty busy road. Very There's busy always road. traffic and lots of accidents. Yes. <laughs> and I was pulling out and I was like, wow, it's a daylight and there is no 
like no cars and i even said something i was like this is looks very surreal yeah it's very crazy. strange especially when you're used to the norm and then things are the way they are now it's uh yeah it's really really different so we'll see what happens if we get quarantine laws and rules and martial law in place i don't know hopefully none of that happens and hopefully this goes away uh sooner than later because i can't honestly i can't wait for life to get back to normal yeah it's very very weird but it is very quiet feels like, like you're in the movie like, like typically like... this time of day it's like what time is it right now it's almost 10 o'clock at night typically we would have some noise and some traffic mm -hmm. it's bone silent in the middle of the city which yeah. is Kind of crazy. Yeah, very, very weird. I kind of look forward to the construction noise now. <laughs> all right, y'all. We are KRT Life. KRT Life with a Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And we do have some normal vlogs coming up. We just need to finish editing them. But life has gotten so wonky uh, the last week. Yes, we're trying to so. readjust our schedule and our timing and everything so we can bring y'all our regular content as well. Yeah, because I was going to say, like, I still work full time just from home and then the online school so yeah i'm a teacher as a substitute so to speak mm -hmm. and then wherever else we have to finish so yeah um but we'll be back tomorrow with yes. whatever new updates are and then keep you guys posted yes all right y'all peace peace Bye.